Last week, we went to the Clark and Carter Secondhand Boat Show at Gillingham Marina to look at some different boats. This week, finally get round to preparing Rowena for the water. We've got the keys to seeing the Kita. does all this stuff but she's not here so I thought I'd show you after all those weeks of saying um, we've not done anything on the boat I've now finally done something on the boat but I didn't film any of it um, that's partly because I couldn't be bothered it's anti-fouling and polishing and stuff which isn't the most fun um, and the complication of filming it as well would, uh, would just be a bit too much but it's also because how much fun can you make anti-fouling and polishing look on a film? Not really, can you? So anyway, don't she look pretty? <coughs> Raise the water line because last year the fouling was just getting up above the uh, line of the anti-fouling um, and put a little stripe on it, boot topping stroke go faster stripe to make it look pretty um, and I've just polished the top sides as well so what I did on the faint off chance that anyone watching this film <coughs> doesn't know or hasn't anti fouled the boat before I use blue masking tape don't know why it's blue but blue means it's kind of external and doesn't mind getting wet if you use a normal clear or yellow masking tape outside and it rains it's just a nightmare to get off so I penciled in the line two inches above the old water line used a line of blue masking tape around the boat then roughed up using uh, I haven't got any here some 80 grit um, wet and dry paper the new the new bit of gel cut that needed um, needed painting and I also sanded as much as I could the whole bottom of the boat. Um, you would think 20 foot boat sitting outside the house would be a breeze 20 foul but I have to say it's been a right pain because rather than spending it being a pain spending time stood on a ladder um, struggling to reach things you spend your life on your back struggling to reach things getting down under there hasn't been a bundle of laughs um, but I don't know it's only spent I don't know maybe a couple of hours sanding sanding it down um, I've got one of these I uh, can't find it it's like a handle with a big pad on the end of it put the stuff on that um, from a dust mask and stuff um, sanded it off Sanded the new bit of gel coat, then I used oh, International Primacon, which I've had had before. Um, I used to, a couple of coats of that to prime the new gel coat. Um, I then painted the what is the white boot top oh, using uh, can't read it. There's too much paint on it. I think it's into. I think it's Trilux. Trilux 33. Um, so there's a couple of coats of that to make the white stripe. I then put another bit of inch wide blue masking tape, an inch down on the white, to make my uh, to give it the for, to mask off the white line. So that effectively goes from about where the last water line was up. Um, put a cut to that masking tape on then the whole thing's had a couple of coats of international micron extra which is probably a bit overkill really it's their expensive one but it came we got a load of tins of it with white magic when we bought white magic which haven't been used um, I have to say I, I wasn't overly impressed but that could easily have been because the year we had white magic was a particularly bad year for fouling um, 
so hopefully it was just a bad year and when it grows it grows um, this boat although it did foul up a lot last year we didn't actually have to foul it at all we just used what was on it and rubbed it down to sort of refresh it um, and it, it did foul up a lot but then it was old old anti-fouling so I've got good hope for this I think it'll be all right um, so two coats of that and then I've peeled off the blue the masking tape as best I can while it's I mean it's dry but not been on there that long the longer you leave it the harder it is to get off and it came off pretty quickly uh, pr pretty easily no real problems and <coughs> the lines a little bit wobbly but you yeah, know doesn't look bad does it um, so I'm quite pleased with that so then I've just been doing the top sides uh, I've used what's that fa Farclair? I don't know. However you pronounce that, G3 rubbing compound to go over the whole hull just to um, get any oxidisation off the the gel coat and to to um, hopefully make it look a bit prettier. I use a silver line buffing thing. What's it called? Sander polisher. It's called came from screw fix I can't remember how much it was but it wasn't that much less than 20 quid I think and I've had that for a few years now it's the only one I've ever had on these boats um, so that was good so uh, and I do that I put it on with a cloth and then I dump the, the sponge because you use these sponges which as you can see I've destroyed because I caught it on the rubber rudder right at the end when I was doing the transom um, you, you do them wet so you've got to make sure it's wet or it really picks up and tears on the sponge as long as it's wet the uh, rubbing's really easy and then I've just given it all um, one coat and I'll do another one in a minute of myrrh polish there must be better polishes out there by now but the first boat we ever bought came with a bottle of that and then as you do when you're polishing a boat you'll kind of run out halfway through so I bought another bottle of myrrh and I've only ever used myrrh so anyone's got any ideas on better polishes out there please let us all know because uh, maybe that's great I don't know but Mer's something my dad used to use it's been around forever so um, I figure there must be something better by now but anyway don't she look good look at that shine you know it's 20 odd years old this boat now and the gel coat is brilliant uh, oh just finishing off the patch here note the um, health and safety approved battery holding the boat up now on a block of wood but I had to move the wheels across uh, away on the other side I had it I had it chopped up to start with on the other side so that's now sitting on a bit of plastic and I've just painted the uh, the patch where the battery was holding it up before it's not really holding it up because those wheels under the middle there are hold, taking the weight these bits on the side just steady it so it's not quite as dangerous as it might look um, but yeah <coughs> she's coming along good so that's the boat cleaned up and ready to go we spoke to the bosun Hannah has he doesn't want us to take it down there yet um, I think he's still getting boats in but he said on Monday hopefully he'll sort out the mooring lines and he'll make a space for us so hopefully during the week I can get it towed down there and then it's the bank holiday next weekend so we can go sailing so anyway that's it that's as exciting as it gets Hannah normally does this of course saves me the pain of doing the films but she's out shopping and to be fair I'd rather be anti-fouling and polishing and showing you guys what's going on than going shopping so uh, so that's it we'll see you all next time hopefully on the water <laughs> <laughs>